New Valorant agent ISO got shown yesterday by some pro players who recorded footage in Los Angeles. I'm going to react to it and make some, let's say, very superficial analysis. Uh, but I do think he kind of sucks, but not really. He's going to be incredibly entertaining to watch and play in ranked, but for pro play, not really. So let's dive in and see what Dirk and Ito's prepared when it comes to their content. Welcome to Lotus Lab. We're going to use Ito's footage first because he's showing in his on his Twitter. So go to Energy Ethos. Uh, actually, it's just Ito's uh, with a Z at the end to show uh, to look at this 45 second footage here with the, with the skills. But I wanted to show to you is his cost of the utility first before we describe it. So you understand that his kit is like, incredibly expensive is 250 credits for contingency, 200 credits for undercut, but you have two undercuts, and 150 for one double tap, and since you get one double tap for free, his entire kit is 800 credits, which is a lot, right? For a for a duelist, that's an incredibly expensive kit, right? So um, that's the first thing. Then we're going to swap to Durka, who's going to show you how those how this utility kind of works in the beginning uh wait 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 wait, 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 wait. here we go okay. thank you deca so Which contingency wall, you can't yeah. stop it and it blocks the bullets is a wall that blocks bullets and it kind of looks like a smaller cascade right uh but the thing is that it cannot be stopped and that's the biggest aspect of it it's five seconds long it blocks the bullet, it doesn't block utility, right? So you can still throw flashes through it from both sides and so on. Uh, and many people actually have seen yesterday react to it and it's like, why you cannot stop it, man? Oh, Riot is just stupid. Actually, Riot is not stupid. They're very smart about it. Because if you would be able to stop the contingency from moving, you would be able to make yourself unkillable for five seconds in some situations because you would be able to stop yourself in a corner or something and if you don't have utility that deals damage you would be just not killable for five seconds right so they want to avoid permanent um permanent like map alteration with something that you would be able to stop like this right so this would actually be giga broken if you were able to stop it so thank god you cannot stop it right and in this case, um, your opponents like uh, this. This is a tool that allows you to to either create some space or deny some space, deny an angle, right? So if you, um, I already added ISO to my compendium over here, but it's a work in progress because I didn't play him yet, right? This is just an impression from just watching the 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 footage and the explanations from the pro players that have been playing in Los Angeles. But once I play him, we're gonna add more of the compendium explanations to him here but in general the wall in my eyes is the defining skill when it comes to isos like potential so that's pretty nice it's like it's it's something that creates so much space the range of it is similar to like fade ultimate when it comes to like the range right you can see that it takes the entire space here but it's five seconds long right so that's his defining ability in my eyes now the second one is like an omen paranoia uh, grenade that debuffs the people. It doesn't deny them vision. It doesn't deny them anything else. It just makes them double damage, right? So um, when you use it, is, uh, let's see, cards. let's see what Daka says. It, it kind of works like omen paranoia, but it doesn't flash. Instead, it gives uh, vulnerability. You can throw it through like the walls. So if I throw it, it gives the same effect mm -hmm. as it does to give a lot of bots. Let's pack it up. And you can just quickly kill someone with uh, like fewer bullets or um, just throw a So my impression is this might be actually a piece of kit from this agent that gets nerfed because you have two of those, right? In the future, I would not be surprised if this gets nerfed to have only one right? Because think about it. During the attack, it's not really that important, but during defense, this singular piece of equipment can stop an entire push because it will make five players debuffed and it will deal double damage to them. So in choke points on maps like, for example, 
Like, let's say we play, um, let's go jump to Ascent, right? I'm playing ISO, I'm going to represent him with, with Omen. But I'm playing ISO on A side. And now we're able to use the grenade to debuff people who are going through this one choke point. So those people are now afraid to go out or I get easy kills because just two body taps from a Vandal just kill a person, right? So you spraying with a Phantom for a smoke makes it incredibly, incredibly in, uh, like difficult to actually execute a site, right? So it's it's way more um, it's it's way more impactful than a viper molly because viper molly you need to go into this into the uh, into the molly, right? So let's compare it here. Like if I put the molly over here or here, I just know that those people will not go through it, or if they go through it, they will still be in in like different spots and will get like ten damage. But with this grenade, right? I'm able to, like, dictate if they get the debuff or not, which I cannot do with the debuff from the Viper, which makes it a huge difference, right? So this will actually be, like, you will get more kills with this utility than with the snake bite because people will, some of the people will get scared and some will not even realize that they are de debuffed and they will actually push out. So it's an incredibly powerful tool and you have two of those. So you can dictate the way that you play as an anchor on site with those two grenades. So I wouldn't be surprised if this gets nerfed in the future uh, to one of those grenades, right? Um, so yeah. It, remember also that it's an incredibly powerful tool to um, like combo with stuff. Like let's say we go to bind, we go to hookah, right? Uh, we go iso here, we use the um, undercut towards hookah and then the race can nade one corner and deal 110 damage with the first explosion right so if someone doesn't have armor it's lethal damage imagine this for a pistol round right like you cannot stand in hookah in in this corner because you insta die if you play with a ghost like this is um this is actually uh, potent in ranked but in pro play you don't have slot for this agent in many compositions because you would rather play an initiator in this role, right? And you will not sacrifice a race or a jet to play ISO in most situations. Might be wrong, I don't know. I, I still have to play him, but my first impression is he's going to be insanely fun to, for ranked, but for pro play, you're not going to have a slot for him, right? Because why on earth would I play ISO over a Fade or a Sky or a KO? Right in those cases, right those those other agents will deliver support as well. That is going to be less restrictive, right? But yeah, um, in general, it's useful, right? And then all the potential combos of like Sova Ultimate or like Brimstone Ultimate that will just melt people, right? That that's the potential that you can do. Like dictating the this is the first ability actually, uh, apart from Fade's Ultimate. Right? That can dictate if opponents get the debuff or like a DK damage without their interaction, right? So, let's say um, it's actually stronger in some interactions because when you compare it, like for example, let's say a fade ult uh, B, right? And affects a player, let's say it affects the Neon and then Sova wants to kill the Neon with the ultimate, like you cannot do that because the mo unless you perfectly time it in the first hit, which is impossible to do, right? But the DK from the Fade Ultimate instantly instantly gets recovered, so it one tap from the Omen, sorry, from the Sova ult will not kill the Neon. But with the contingent with the undercut from ISO, you're able to kill that Neon because that is for the duration of the undercard and not just a DK, right? So you can see how you can dictate the way that you make the other person double damaged or like to some degree you can compare it to a DK damage, right? And your opponent cannot react to it because it's you who dictates the double damage. It's like you hit with the stake bite, but it's such a small range. While if you hit with the undercard, it's like such a... Such a huge space that you can check with right so there's there's much more um much more uh to it than to um than to the uh to the snake bites for example or for the fade ultimate or to the 
to disease, for example, right? Um, so that's 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 a little bit of a, of a difference here. Now, when it comes to double tap, you can see the double tap. Uh, let, let's Deca explain it first. You have a flow status. Uh, now you can see it on my screen. So while I kill somebody, uh, I can shoot the orb Fire that comes up and. Um, Ah, broken, Riot, what are you doing, man? It's giga broken. Oh my god, no, it's not. So, this is a signature ability. I think it's the first agent in the game that has a signature ability that doesn't define him as an agent. I'm actually surprised that this is his signature ability because it feels like his wall should be a signature ability or his undercut should be an, uh, a signature ability instead of his double tap. Because the double tap is meaningless in most of the rounds. It, what it does, it allows you to ignore the first source of damage, right? One source. So one bullet, it doesn't matter which bullet, can be a classic operator or, or a rifle or a, or a judge shot, right? It blocks the first instance, so it can be from one damage to 150 damage, but you need to hit the orb first, right? So what happens when you kill the player, right? You have to flick, do the aim labs, hit the blue ball, right? So you get the shield. But in most cases, you will not be able to do that because you might get traded when you do this and it doesn't give you the same amount of certainty like a Reina Dismiss, for example, right? So this is way weaker than a Reina Dismiss and it also, uh, like, makes you open to potential enemies. It makes you shoot a bullet that makes you uh, makes a recoil higher on a gun as well so it's very detrimental to your own gameplay unless you know that no one is coming here so this is best in isolation haha <laughs> right but it doesn't make any sense to like signature an agent this is why in the in the compendium i'm not putting it at any role because it doesn't give you any roles like he's a support rifle that angle denies with his wall and support and is an execute support because of his grenades right so the 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 double tap the signature ability itself it doesn't really create any of his um identity in the first place right so that's kind of interesting that we are not able to like use his signature ability in a in a meaningful way to create his role his role is defined by his other pieces of of the kit rather than his signature ability first agent right because reina dismiss jet uh, dash neon slide phoenix flash yoru tp raise grenade gecko yeah flash sky flash ko dagger fade eye sova recon breach stun brimstone smoke yeah with all, all smokes here right chamber tp killjoy turret cypher camera sage <laughs> that okay so every single agent apart from sage and iso are like um are like defined by the signature ability and Isa and Sage are not, which is hilarious in a way, right? So, um, yeah, that, that's fun. Um, that's fun. Uh, but Isa in general, I think is an incredible, it's going to be incredibly fun to play in rank. Now, the double tap, as I, as I say, I don't think is meaningful in most cases. You, you don't even want to like first bullet tap when you kill a player because you might get insta traded so that you get absolutely demolished because of that. But in some cases, of course, it's going to it's going to look broken. Uh, 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 it's going to look broken because you're going to deny a raise ultimate or an op shot and everyone is going to cry. Ah! It's broken, man. How can Riot do this to this game, man? So, yeah. Um, but then the ultimate is gonna be... Uh, uh, oh, by the way, when you kill multiple players while the double tap is active, when you have the shield, it refresh refreshes the shield counter. Sorry, it re refreshes the, the shield timer, but it doesn't give you additional shields, right? So, um, that's, that's one thing. Uh, now, when it comes to the ultimate... The ultimate, let's hear what Derek says first. Added from the trailer, 
is his ultimate. So when I uh, look, look at the mini map here, look at the mini map. It's it's a um, range of a fade ultimate Sika, like. Not exactly, maybe. Maybe it's a little bit longer or shorter. I'm not exactly sure. But it's very similar to Fade Ult um, Distance, but the, it's not as wide, right? It's like a paranoia wideness, right? Uh, throw an ulti into somebody, it takes them uh, into arena. But no basically, I ult uh, player, and uh, there's walls, and then the walls disappear. And so yeah, you got into 1v1 gunfight with the opponent that you isolate, right? And you get a full buff to your HP, but when you go back, you get down to the HP that you had before. I am not certain if the opposing player gets a full heal as well. He might actually not, not get that to give ISO an advantage because it's his ultimate, right? So it's his... Um, it's his dominion, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. We're going to check that in when I get him. Um, then um, in this, uh, you get taken out of the map and you leave those signature like um, icons on the ground, like a Phoenix ultimate, but the ultimate from, from ISO, like, you know, the one on the player card that you had in the battle pass. So the opponents will know if they see where you are when you go back. The ult is, and same goes for the opponent. The ult lasts 15 seconds. If you don't kill the opponent in 15 seconds, you also die, right? Um, and uh, what else? What The most important of this ult, the most important aspect of this ult is that you are able to turn off Sentinel's utility or in general utility that is activated by, the, by that agent right so for example if i get a cypher into the ultimate from iso a killjoy their utility on the map gets disabled for the duration of the time she's in the ultimate or where she gets killed till she gets killed then it doesn't matter right so it's a powerful tool to catch a sentinel if you catch a viper her smokes go down as well but not only that the Viper gets taken out of the Viper's pit, which then in turn turns off the Viper's pit if she's long enough in the ultimate, right? Um, what else happens is that Yoru can counter this ultimate with a clone, by the way. So that's funny. It, it just whiffs. Um, and the Smith from Reyna does the same. Um, so it's kind of similar like the Deadlock ultimate um, synergy here or anti-synergy, right? Uh what else is happening here as well is, um, I think that's all. I'm not, like, you cancel the race ultimate, by the way, if you get her into the, into the, into the 1v1. And then so that's a thing. And, and by the way, not sure if you guys realize, but look, when he kills the race, the there's a blue ball appearing. You get it for free. Like, you get this for free every time you are in the ultimate. So if you're fast enough, you get out of the ultimate with the shields. But as you can see, you have some time for it, right? So if you win the gunfight, you get out of the ultimate with the shield, which is important, right? Um, and then uh, what else? I'm not certain about the jet knives, if they are disabled. That's something that I have and no idea. If you're one HP and you so, get into ulti, you will have max HP it's kind of something that we're going to check, back, you will have right? The previous HP that you had. Um, uh, also, uh, double tap works in the ulti. So, let's say I kill the player now. Oh, Deke talks about the other, uh, other, other aspect. So, if you go into the ult with your double tap already active, you have the shields in the ultimate. I spoke about the fact that you get a free double tap in the ultimate. Right. I will still have the cooldown on, and uh, I can like kill him easier. Uh, so I can. Like, yeah, but you can actually. We can make an assumption. You can see that the race is suppressed, and you are suppressed as well. So let's assume that the jet knives don't work. I'm not certain about it, right? But I would assume you are not getting the the jet knives. And you should not get like the neon ultimate and other stuff. But again, uh, I, I didn't like see uh, any any examples, so I'm not certain if it's true, right? But it shouldn't like the utility in the ult should not work in general. All right, so yeah.
Kill him easier. Uh, so I gain like advantage. I gain. So I can just. Uh... All right. Thank you, Derka, for the explanations. I think that's uh, everything for this video. Um, so my impressions from this agent. Again, I will repeat for the third time what I already said. I think this this agent is going to be incredibly fun to play in ranked. And it's going to create some very, very funny situations. Um, he might, He's definitely more useful in the game in ranked than Arena. Because he has more meaningful utility. <laughs> right? Uh, but for pro play, I don't think he's going to be game changing. Because there are multiple duelists that have a more important part of the kit than the ISO. Like, you're still going to have to play Jet or Raze primarily as a duelist because you have an actual piece of mobility that allows you to deny um, choke points, right? With this guy, not really. Even Yoru has more, let's say, um, uh more meaningful utility than him when it comes to being an actual opening side duelist because of the TP and the flashes, right? This guy only has the wall, right? So that's the thing. Like, I don't think we're going to see a lot of compositions. Some teams will definitely try him out. Here, Rex and Navi, most likely, right? But I don't think he's going to be a viable choice long-term in the way that he is presented right now. But he is definitely a unique agent so i'm happy that we get agents like this in the game but for pro play i don't think he's gonna be like in any way meta defining or anything and also just saying if pro teams are not starting to use more yoru in 2024 they are trolling yoru is in a really great spot and he should be in the meta game in the upcoming year but we'll see if the teams will actually do that um i so I'll say you something though. Deca told me that there's one player in the team that wants to convince Bosa to play Yoru, but Bosa says no. So sorry, Deca, for, for leaking our convos. But I'm not gonna say who. So um all right. Um that's it for today's video. See you guys next time.